The best defense is a good offense, so the Pentagon challenged hackers to assault its cybersecurity system. The experiment ended today. Here's David Martin with The Revenge of the Nerds. Walking the halls of the Pentagon in his hoodie, Chris Lynch has been mistaken for a repairman. As in, how long will it take you to fix my phone? This is the weirdest moment of my life. I never thought I'd show up in government. I never thought that I'd be working at the Pentagon. A software entrepreneur uh, from is... Seattle, Lynch was brought in by Defense Secretary Carter to head a new office called the Defense Digital Service. The title on the door says Rebel Alliance. <laughs> I'd like to say that the Rebel Alliance is anybody who wants to be a part of uh, working around and changing the bureaucracy, and I believe that is our mission. If we don't, I don't know who else will. Just as in Star Wars, this Rebel Alliance, actually a staff of 12, is out to do battle with a mighty empire, the old and slow Pentagon bureaucracy. We're kind of a SWAT team for nerds. Bureaucracy busters. Yeah, we have actually a type of person, one of our skill sets that we hire is actually a bureaucracy hacker. Lynch's first project was called Hack the Pentagon. Pay a bounty to anyone who can find a way to hack into five of the Defense Department's public websites. So Hack the Pentagon doesn't even sound legal. <laughs> uh, there were a lot of people who didn't like that name. Now, most hackers, I think, are seen as malicious. Not every hacker is bad. That's the big change here is that we're now allowing people who actually want to that are not malicious to do it. In six weeks, 1,400 hackers uncovered 90 vulnerabilities in the software, flaws which could be exploited to tamper with the sites. We had our first vulnerability that came in 13 minutes from the launch of the program. We just kind of map things out. And then Lynch has covered an entire wall with plans for overhauling Pentagon software that go far beyond public websites, which is why Army Lieutenant Colonel Joe Roman came looking for a software solution to the paperwork of recruiting. This will be fun since we don't speak your language, you don't speak ours. This will be, I'll try to speak slowly and loudly so that you understand. <laughs> Lynch finds out the Army is creating digital files the old-fashioned way. So they're printing all this stuff and then they're scanning it? Is that what they're doing? There's a lot of printing and scanning. There's Another potential scanning. project for Lynch's Great White Wall which ends with this admonition. Governments hate two things, change and the way things are. David Martin, CBS News, the Pentagon.